hi guys welcome back to another video so today i am here to basically show you what i'm going to be trading in royal high but before we get started make sure to subscribe and hit that like button and comment down below any offers you have for anything you see in this video except for the things i say i am not trading and also make sure to go follow me on my other social medias and buy some merch so basically i have a load of new items that i'm so excited to trade with you guys i'm probably gonna start doing some more royal high trading challenges and i'm super excited but before i start doing those videos i wanted to show you what i'm trading so if you're interested in any of my items just reply with like the timestamp and your username and what you would like or it doesn't even have to be the timestamp, just the item name and your offer and your username and I'll add you and we'll discuss the offer on Roblox. So let's go into the dress up mode and I'm currently wearing like some of my favorite items but let's like, like start with the wings. I don't have many wings because I'm not a person who just like loves to put on wings. I've never liked, really liked wings in this game but I only buy like a couple of them I really really liked. And so I have a Soul Keeper, Bee Witch Chonker, Pink Unicorn, Ghostify, Ivy Pumpkins, Undertaken Hands, and they're all for sale. And I'm selling them for diamonds or I'm trading them. And I don't really wear wings that much, but they can be cute. But I'm just not a person who's just gonna be wearing wings usually. So let me take this off. So here for my skirts, I have two Queen of the Ocean skirts, so I'm gonna be like trading one of them away selling them for like a lower price than they are in shop and then i have the enchanting heirloom skirt cage skirt and i think it's really really cute so if you really want this skirt make sure to do a cute offer or like a really good offer because i love this skirt so so much and it's by one of my close friends on twitter so make sure to go follow him so we have the Miss Lady Rose skirt as well. I love the Miss Lady Rose skirt, so I'm obviously going to be needing like an awesome offer for that as well. It's super, super cute, and like, look how it looks. I just love it. It's one of my favorite big skirts, and I just think it's really cute, and like, if you're feeling extra that day, I feel like this is the perfect look for you. So, let's take this off. Then next we have the pleated skirt. This is like a really cute like simple skirt and I think it basically like goes with everything and look how cute that is. It already like turned my outfit to like a 10. This is just like a really cute like addition to any outfit so I'm also going to be trading that as well as long as the Miss Lady Rose skirt. Then I have the Princess Star Frost. This is from the earlier set in during the winter and this is really cute and I'm going to be trading it as well. It's, it's like a really cute skirt and it's it transforms as well as like the enchanting heirloom skirt. So then we have the Dear Dolly Ruffled skirt which originally goes with my heels but I like to like mix and match and sometimes not even wear a skirt with these heels and I'm going to be trading that as well. And the Magical Guardian of Love and Justice, that's gonna be um, for trade as well. And the Midnight Mademoiselle, Mademoiselle, it's also gonna be for trade. It's a skirt that you would get for having um, the design game pass, I think. Then the Free Glowing Beach skirt, it was an April Fool prank, but you guys can still trade for it. I think it's tradable. And I have the mini skirt, the Ruffle Velvet Bow mini skirt, and the Real Life Mermaid skirt, which just recently got like, um, be worked which is really cute i love this skirt so you guys can like offer for it if you really want it so for my heels i have only a couple because i've been trading a lot of my heels recently so i have like flowers from the garden and i feel like these two shoes are probably gonna get reworked pretty soon because barbie's been like on the reworked game like the action beauty so these are probably gonna get reworked soon so that's why i'm probably not gonna be trading these but i'll trade one of these wedges in wonderland if you're interested and then i have the darling valentina lollipop heels these are really cute as well and they transform and they're from the like one of the recent sets by ocean and i think they're cute as well and they're from my friends so i'm probably not gonna be trading them because it was a birthday present so i probably might not be um, trading them, so sorry. But I have the Princess Starfrost figure skates. These were so expensive and probably the first expensive heels I had in the game, and they're 50,000 diamonds. So I'll probably be like needing like a good offer for these because these were like really expensive and nice. 
Then I have the Batmobiles as well. These are like the older Halloween shoes and I love these shoes. They're really cute as well. And I have the Action Booties which are reworked and the Pastel High Tops. So then I only have like one mermaid so you can offer if you want it. I'll probably even give it away for free because I don't really use it because it doesn't like suit any body type I guess. Then over here, I have my accessories. I have a lot of accessories so I'm going to be pretty brisk about this because I don't want the video to be like 10 hours long. So I have my three halos over here. I have another one down here and it's the Halloween Halo 2018. But my sister is like in charge of this halo so please leave like good offers for her and she'll be like trading it for you. I'm just trading it, keeping it here for her because she's not level 75. So I'm just taking her trades for her while she levels up. So you can like comment down below like good offers. So I have the Valentine's Halo 2019. The Dark Halo, I love the Dark Halo, I think it's really cute and like underrated. Then I have the Glimmering like Light Halo, and I love this Halo personally. So let me take this off really quickly, I don't want you guys to get distracted. So let me just take this off. So then I also have the Alan Signs Halo as well, one of my favorites. Then I have the Magical Broomstick, and you could only get that from the Game Pass, and I like this, so I'm going to be trading it as well. And also, all of my halos are for trade, except the Halloween one. The Halloween one is for trade, but my sister's in charge, so I'll tell you what my sister says, But so you can still offer on the Halloween one. So the Magical Broomstick is really cute, and it gives you like a cute like flying kind of thing. And it's really cute, and I think it's going to be for trade as well. Then I have two for colors from the winter update. The Emerald Necklace, the new changing necklace, which is like Comic Bob's diamond ring and requires a code and it's really rare as well, so you can like common offers for that. I have the Shadow Empress Fallen Angel Sleeves and these are not for trade because these are like my favorite like items as well because I think they're like really really cute and they have just like the cutest like effect and give you nails and acrylics so I'm like I'm okay with not trading them. And I have the rainbow ears and rainbow armlets, those are for trade. The exquisite emerald earrings are also for trade, and you know, already know about the Halloween Halo, it's up to my sister. Then I have two parasols, these are not for trade unfortunately, because these are for the winners of the giveaway that I hosted. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. So I'm giving these to my winners, so I can't trade these. Then I have the archery kit for Love and Fairies. I'm, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to trade any Valentine accessories. They don't have double up because people really wanted it for the giveaway, so I'm giving it for the giveaway only. Then I also have the um, enchanting heirloom free through corset. I'm probably gonna be trading it. It's one of my favorite corsets, so I probably need a good offer, but I really love it anyway. Then I'm trading my Love Me Forever handbag, but I really, really like it, so I want a really good deal. Then I'm trading one of my sailor hats with bows and my magical hair ribbons, just one each. And they're really cute and one of my top accessories, so I suggest good offers. Then here I have my Call Me Bob Diamond Ring. This is for trade for only good offers only. This is probably one of the rarest items in the game because many people are looking for this right now. Then I have Ice's UFO for trade, the Valentine Cuffs for trade, this not for trade, and this not for trade because this is for my winner, sorry. But then I have my Rainbow Pot of Gold bag and it's really cute and it's for trade as well. And all of these items are for trade except these two because these are for my winner. So then I also have my my real items, but many of them are not for trade. But I'm also trading my Princess Star Frost set, so you guys can offer away for that. And I'm trading as much as I can get, and I'll just let you know what I'm not trading. So I'm gonna see. I'm probably gonna end up not trading some of my favorites items. I'm gonna probably keep some for like later use. I'm gonna keep my nocturnal kitty ears because I really really like them but if I'm ever trading them they're probably gonna be for trade so you can just offer away but the likeliness I'm gonna accept is really really low. Then I'm also trading all of these items as well. The goth and are really really cute. They just give your outfit like an extra like flair on your shoulders I guess but they don't really show because I'm like I'm wearing sleeves already. And then I have the eye patch, and I have earrings. Everything here is for trade, and I'm gonna tell you what's not for trade in a second. 
So let's continue going down. Everything here is for trade. For trade, for trade, for trade, for trade. I'm probably gonna keep my bunny ears for the April event, but I'll trade them later on. I just wanna have them so I can like get ready and fuss up and stuff. And then the, the rest of these items are for trade if the wheel allows me to trade them. Because most of these are wheel items, so comment down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and comment down below any offers you might have. And please just comment down below and like this video and share with your friends and comment down below offers and add me on Roblox. It's Donutology. This is my only account. So make sure to add me and I'll just be accepting everyone who has trades and I'll just accept some trades and I'll mix some amazing trades with you guys. Bye and I hope to see you guys next time in my next video. Bye guys!